for those, for those um, I used to go to ET and up until I was diagnosed with leukemia AOL. This was back actually about a year ago, back in April. Um, <clears throat> one thing I do info, uh, emphasis a lot is that when you ever get a, a sign, uh, some sort of disease or some sort of just a rash or something, go check yourself because sometimes it cancer manifests itself like that. It's very, very silent in the way it works. Um, and just take care of yourself. Don't put anything aside. If uh, you have a headache, you have a rash or something abnormal comes out, just go and get yourself checked. It's been a bumpy ride. I mean, this whole process of cancer, not just leukemia or whatever. I mean, um, a lot of people can tell you, like, oh, I have this type of cancer, or I have this type of cancer. This type of cancer is harder, this type of cancer is harder. No, hard is pretty much just hard. You know, everything's on bumpy ride. And uh, for me, it's it's taught me a lot. It's uh, it's been I don't want to make it sound pretty because at some points it's not, but it's it's been an eye opening experience. It's just incredible things it can teach you. It can teach you the way you love really really works. How to manifest itself through the people, through spirits. You know, everybody comes together to come to help a cause. And it's just from my point of view, from my from my place of standing, it's just amazing. It's beautiful. I mean. I'm in depth with so many people um, because they've, they've showed me their love, their, their true spirit, their true essence. You know, it's one of the things I think we human beings live for more than anything else, just to show that love, compassion. It's, it's amazing. It's, oh, it's I too. Sometimes we get so sucked into our thoughts that we think something's hard and we just start making up excuses of how, how not to live a life. You know? I'm not to go pursue our dreams like, oh, you know, I'm just going to post, postpone, like, drawing my, whatever it is, or whatever passion you're after, um, postpone it and let it sit and just become lazy or just put up an excuse to not do it. And it's like, no, you can actually do it. I mean, when you face up, when you come that close into conversations with death, um, it, it awakens you. It, really adds you up, you know, it just tells you that you can actually go after anything you want. You know, that word impossible is just pretty much you nothing. Know, makes you um, makes you appreciate death not in a sense in a very dark sense, but once you start understanding um, how death plays um, a role in your life, you start appreciating life more a lot. You know, just you have this taboo look on it um, on death. That it's just uh, that oh, it's dark, it's sinister, and it's not something you want, right? Either, but it's it's there to teach you something. You know, just as life is here to teach you something as well. Just how every moment is here to teach you something as well. Sometimes we just ignore um, everyday things. And I've been reading like so many books on just uh, Buddhism, Zen, like anything that deals with theology, Christianity. Not so much in the sense to find a God or to look for something but it's just they all share like common theme once you come back down to it it's just like compassion love it's just um, a way of guiding your spirit um, towards something better anytime you're stressed or anything it's not so much that you're going to sit there and you know, just take time to go go and walk around and go breathe because I know it's stress runs a lot in college so oh, yeah. go take a walk by yourself uh, just distract your mind from whatever is stressing you out as soon as it's gone, you come back to your senses and you're just more relaxed. And that's the process I've, I've used throughout this whole chemotherapy thing. Because, man, there's points where you just want to give up. You're just like, ah, oh, screw this. You know what? Just take me and let me rock. Let me decompose with it. You know what I mean? You're, you're in this, this, um, this whole process, this whole dance of life for a reason. I mean, you might not see it. And it might not make sense to you, but it you are here for for a reason. And I'm not saying this in a way like, oh, there's someone dictating your life. No, you give yourself that. You go after what you want. If it's art, if it's um, helping others, if it's um, through your I don't know through your love for food or something. You know, you manifest your love through that, and that love helps and inspire other people. It's, it's scary walking in there sometimes because you know there's there's people I people have told me this that I've been optimistic about this whole process. That's what's helped me out a lot to me. 
and it's just a way I prefer seeing it, you know. You can see it in a bad way, or you can see it in a positive way, and that's wholly up to you. There's people that quite don't grasp that, um, that concept, and they unfortunately have this very negative, like, oh, I'm suffering. Um, if you have a negative mentality, it's only going to bring, it's going only going to work against you, you know, it's never going to work for you. you know, you're just defeating yourself, you're like, oh, I'm going to rock here. I'm just, you know, I don't even know. It's like, it's, it's, and I've had a couple of instances where I've tried to talk to people and they kind of just grab you down. You got to be strong, be optimistic, not for yourself, but for them, you know. You don't want to see people around you sad, and that starts with you. If you don't want to see people around you sad, then you yourself have to be happy. You have to keep that optimistic spirit. You have to keep the drive. You have to keep going. Um, and if you take away everything from this, not my experience of cancer, you can apply to yourself. You know, everybody has a battle. Everybody has. It's going through a hard thing. Just because mine manifested through cancer, it doesn't mean um, it's no. Yours is no less special. No. Your, your internal battle is your internal battle. That's what drives you. Um, it drives your day. You know, waking up. You know, you know, today I'm gonna make it a better day. Today I'm gonna work harder. Today I'm just gonna give it 100. Um, keep that optimistic spirit. Well, thank you for coming. I'm Bernardo Flores. I was diagnosed with leukemia AOL again. Um,